Hamilton City Councillor who criticised the commemorations for those killed in the Christchurch terror attacks plans to visit his local mosque this Friday to apologise. James Casson, who also works for Immigration New Zealand, wrote on his Facebook page that whenever a memorial is held or a tear shed, the attacker wins. Mr Casson told me just a short time ago he's sorry if he caused offence, but he does stand by his comments. The, the flowers, the tears and everything else, of course it's going to happen. I, you know, we expect that to happen. But um, my, my point was to try and move on with normal life because the more we get entrenched, um, the longer it's going to take because, um, you know, um, armed police at mosques and everything, the, the followers have to walk past armed police each day to go to their mosque, and that's not right for them either. Um, things have to get back to normal. Otherwise, there is a lose. That's, that's the point I was trying to make. Right, so you're saying that it's not prudent for the police to still be guarding mosques and other public places? Yeah, well, it was prudent at the time because uh, you don't know what you're going to get straight afterwards. Um, but I, I think we need to, and, and for, the, for the sake of the, um, you know, the Muslim people that go uh, to the mosque to pray, uh, is to try and get back to normal where they don't have to walk past armed police anymore. Have you reached out and spoken to the Muslim community since uh, the, the, the controversy over your comments? Yeah, I have. And, you know, look, I've got... Um, I work with a few Muslim um, officers or police officers from Egypt and other places in Nigeria um, when I was with the United Nations in East Timor. And uh, I've got, you know, huge support from them. But I've also uh, reached out to Dr uh, Mosin, who's head of the Waikato Muslim Society or Association, and I've arranged to go um, meet uh, both him and uh, the faithful there at the Hamilton Mosque on Friday at 2pm. It's their prayer time, and I wish to speak to them face-to-face to apologise. Right, so you will apologise to the Muslim community. Have you heard back from them already about perhaps how they feel um, about the New Zealand police and what they've done to protect them and support them since the uh, shootings on March the 15th? No, I haven't, and uh, you know that's one of the things I'll talk to Mr. Mosin about. But um, it's um, you know this, this is me going as as uh, Councillor Casson to you know just to just to try and assure them. I'm not sure, and, and you know, I'm, I'm sure they will um, accept me willingly. But um, you know just to assure them that my post was never meant to offend anyone. Um, it was just my thoughts on how we should we should progress as. Uh, you know, a society, because that madman that killed 50 innocent people is the man who caused that. Um, and you know, with some of the vitriol I'm getting at the moment, I kind of seems, you know, kind of seems that people are kind of winking me with that guy. Um, right. Uh, so the, the, I mean, you talk about the vitriol that's been shared online. I, I mean, I want, I appreciate that you're apologising to the Muslim community as soon yeah. as you can. Um, your colleagues, including the mayor, have distanced themselves from your comments. Um, and you've talked about online vitriol. I want to take you back to comments you made on Facebook in July 2016, right after the, yes. the terror yep. attack in Nice. You talk about an invasion of European yep. migrants into Europe. And to quote you word for word, you say, it's time to get hard, time for yep. strong measures, time for retribution and extreme violence to rid Europe of these scum. Do you stand yep. by those comments? And well, yeah, I do, because I was actually talking about the terrorists, not the refugees. So there were two terrorist attacks in uh, Nice and Paris, and that was what I was uh, referring to, and the, you know, the boatloads of uh, military-aged guys arriving on the beaches and, and wandering through Europe, which they've got you know, some huge problems with at the moment. I was never referring to refugees as the scum. It was the terrorists, and, you know, the terrorists are scum, the guy... In, you you, uh, cross -church. you talked about well. hordes of men, Middle Eastern men. Um, yes. th there have not been hordes of terrorists. The tone of that post clearly targeting the Muslim and Middle Eastern immigration into Europe. Um, now you're sounding like you're scouting that back to it's just the well, terrorists. Yeah, it was. Well, it was never. It was never meant to be a wholesale. And, and if you read there, it says not all refugees. Uh, it was always referring to Helen Clark, not, not all refugees were um, uh, there for, um, as refugees. There were some people that were going in there for different reasons. And you know, I've just been reading the, um, the publications from Europe and that where they've got you know, big problems in Germany and um, Holland and France and that where they've got huge problems with um, these guys. James, is, is it responsible to go online as an elected representative 
and call for retribution and extreme violence. Since the shootings on March the 15th, how do you feel about those comments? Well, no, you know, like if hindsight's a, uh, a great thing, and if I, if I had it, um, I wouldn't have had it, but those comments were made before I was a councillor as well. So, um, you know, um, yeah, you know, if, if anybody looked at my uh, my Facebook page or my um, my political one, they would see there were no more like that. That was a sole thing, that's something that I probably seen it said in anger at the time, which I um, which I really apologise for. Well, you've just told us before that you stood by the views. Now you're apologising for them. So well, which is yeah, it? No, no, I, no, I do. I do stand by them, but I still apologise if people have taken them the way that uh, has been has been said. You know that I've called all, all refugee scum, which I have not. Do uh, these not views the I... colour your thinking and and the decision making in your position as a councillor in Hamilton? Oh, never. Never at all. Now, I've had a I've had a close association with the mosque here in Hamilton in my previous life as a police officer. So um, I've never that doesn't colour my view at all. I have, like I said, I have Muslim friends, so and, and they are supportive of me. They know that they know the true James Casson, and they know the true James Casson is not a racist. Well, these comments are made in the context of well a, f- a future election there in Hamilton as well. They're timed. Yep. Yep. They're 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 careful. They're calculated. Who are you appealing to with those comments? Oh, I wasn't really appealing to anybody. That wasn't anything to do with either gaining votes or losing votes or whatever else. It was just a, a moment I was having of reflection. And, you know, like, um, I, that could have been worded a lot better or it could have not been put on Facebook at all. Um, but um, I, I was not meaning to cause any sort of offence and uh, it was not trying to elicit any sort of emotive response but obviously it has uh, on both sides i've had now i've had death threats and i've had i've had uh, lots of messages of support too and some of the letters of support or messages of support i've had i don't need um because they, they go too far the other way so um yeah you're saying you got some messages of support going too far the other way what does that mean oh well you know you do get so you get uh, vitriol from from some quarters uh, but then you get other supporters that say, oh, yeah, we, we love your comments, you know, um, and they're from what you'd probably say right-wing sort of um, extremists as well. So does it concern so you that know. you're putting comments out there and, and, and you're getting agreement from people who you say are right-wing extremists? Does that yeah, worry I, you at yeah, all? I, I, it does. It does worry me. That's why I have not responded to them and I've deleted them because I, I, got, a, I got a range of responses right from... Um, you know, people of Muslim faith, um, you know, saying they, they, they know who I truly am and that I didn't mean that right through to people who want to uh, cause harm to me, right through to people who are on the other spectrum, uh, right wing. So you know, it, it went right through society. You had about 6,000 people vote for you last time. Do you think they know you well? Um, I, I hope they do. I, you know, not, every, not all the 6,000 people will know me well. Um, but uh, I think my actions in the community that I've been doing for the last three years speak for me as, as the true person I am. Um, I'll leave it up to the voter whether I get voted in or not, um, and that's totally up to them. If, if people don't want to vote for me, that's, that, that's all good, and that's up to them. If people do want to vote for me, that, that's good as well, but that's not up to me. That's, that's up to the, um, the right payer and the voter. To those voters, those people of Hamilton, including the Muslim community across New Zealand... What yep. do you have to say? I am I'm very sorry if I've caused offence in any way. It was not intended. Um, and if, if all those people knew me as a person, like my friends of uh, all th- sorts of different ethnicities knew me, uh, they would know that it was not meant in that way. So you're going off on Friday to apologise to the Muslim community. Are you hopeful that they will accept you and accept your apology? I, I am hopeful. I have had not had any... Um, negative um, feedback at all from the Muslim community uh, personally. Um, I've seen what has been on TV, but um, personally I have not had it. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, um, with their faith, they've been, they've been pretty good. I think they've been pretty tolerant uh, with what's happened. And I'm hoping they'll um, listen to me uh, you know, and, and listen to my apology. And what are you going to do to prove to them uh, that that you are not trying to stir up those very voices that you heard from with words such as 
it's time for retribution and extreme violence to rid Europe of this scum. I mean, how will you convince them that that's not going to happen again? No, I, all I can give them is, and I don't know what it's worth, but um, I, all I can give them is my word that that won't happen again. Um, like I said, that was a moment um, in 2016 that um, I put something on Facebook I shouldn't have. And, you know, people um, do things um, which they do regret afterwards. So, you know, I wouldn't be the sole person on earth that's done that. Councillor James Casson talking to me a bit earlier. Immigration New Zealand says it does not support Mr Casson's comments, but they are an employment matter and it has declined to be interviewed.